lovelies welcome to another vlog so it's tuesday the 18th of may it's six minutes past ten i have a client arriving in literally a few minutes she'll be here any second i'm going to be filming her set of nails for something as well so that's really cool so i'm just setting up all my like filming equipment and bits and bobs getting that ready for when she arrives so my client is a nail biter so we're going to be doing a little bit of like a treatment plan going every two weeks rather than she normally books in every four weeks so i'm gonna try i'm sorry to just come every two weeks and we're going to try and do a little bit of nail recovery a little bit of nail tlc and really try and get her nails back on track and try and get her out the habit of biting i don't know if any of you guys have any clients that bite their nails or something but it's one of the hardest things to overcome so we will see wish me luck cross fingers so yeah i'm just setting up everything and yeah another vlog fancy picking up the camera so here we are and i'm not sure how much i'm going to film as per usual we'll just go with the flow and see how it goes but yeah nice to see you guys kind of nice to talk to you guys again it's been a little while i know i said at the end of my last vlog that something's coming and i'm super excited and i was a real tease but it's almost there now guys it's coming closer and closer i need to stop talking but it's becoming closer and closer and every time i pick up the camera i'm like today's the day where i can tell you hi guys editing izzy here coming to you from the future i just wanted to jump on and say the thing that i'm talking about that i can't talk about i now actually can talk about because this video has been a little bit delayed in uploading so yeah if you want to know what i'm talking about and what i'm working on definitely go over and follow my instagram account because i've announced it there but I will be doing a full YouTube video announcing it on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that, it's coming. But yeah, I'll get back to the vlog. Just gonna get everything ready, and yeah, I'll catch you later. left so now i've got to clean up all the mess all the mess so what better than to do a little speed clean with me we did this really cool like marble design using like those kind of pastel colors it turned out really cool i'll insert a little photo so she had bitten nails we ended up extending four of the nails i'm just gonna pop you there whilst i clean we ended up extending four no five five of the nails because from the last set we did, I didn't, I haven't done her nails for about five and a half weeks. So way too long, like in between. So what we've done is we've booked her in for the next like two week gap. So two weeks and two weeks. So we're gonna try and get her nails long and natural and healthy. Three of the nails are still on from when I last did them. So they've grown out really well and really nice, but she's got a lot of weak areas in that kind of stress area here so we need to get them grown out past that point nail biters nail is like one of the most difficult to do and it's kind of like teamwork isn't it like you've got to get them to work with you and really look after the nails that are at home as much as you doing an amazing set of nails it's teamwork they've got to look after them really well and i'm lucky Maisie's amazing but yeah Maisie is amazing so she will look after them and i'm sure i'm hoping cross fingers they'll be amazing in two weeks time we will see so yeah i did film that footage because i have got a little bit of a plan in the back of my mind i want to create something where I can share lots of like behind the scenes and problem solving stuff and troubleshooting and share lots of my tips and tricks with you guys on a platform that you can have access to. That is way more in depth than a short video on YouTube and that kind of thing. So I'm working on something. I'm not sure when it's gonna go live, but I thought I'd start filming content. I think Nail by Snell is really good to do. So yes, I have just got to clean and disinfect and sanitize everything i use these little file boxes they're from navy where you write the client's name on the side and then you can put all your files and stuff in them i love it and i'm just using the navy file and store spray you literally just shake spray wait for them to air dry and then put them in the box and i also have all my clients have one of these little manicure brushes so i pop them in there as well so they've all got their own so yeah i've also this week excuse my hair as well guys after this i'm gonna go and take beatrice on a walk so hence the slightly casual clothes but this week i'm really excited because i've got a delivery coming from Bry sculpture which is new collection of colors i think i'm not quite sure 
we will see. So I'll have to do an unboxing and show them with you when they arrive. But yes, I need to clean and I'm procrastinating by talking to you. So I'm gonna start cleaning. guys by the way if you ever order from navy pro tools you can use my code may 10 and it will save you 10 percent off your order so you can save some pennies i always forget to tell you guys discount codes and things in videos i just completely forget but you can always check the description box because i will leave any discount codes and stuff in the description box for you guys so yeah definitely check that out if i don't mention it in a video just double check in there yeah, they are clean and I'll put them back in my drawer now. I need to put some of my camera batteries onto charge because I didn't realise that they are all running out of charge. Right, they're all charging, that's good. So I'm just gonna leave them there. So I think I'm gonna sign off from today because not much else is going on. There's so much to update you on and there's so much that I wanna share with you, but I just can't at the moment. And I've got to do some work on this project that I can't tell you about, that I keep teasing about now. It, to me, it's like been so long that I haven't talked about it because I've been working on it since April last year. So it feels like I've like been holding on for so long, but hopefully soon, hopefully, hopefully soon I can share with you. My grandma's coming over later on today. She's in our support bubble and I think she would like a little mini manicure with some like nail varnish, just cuticle tidy up, a little bit of a manicure, scrub and exfoliate and that kind of thing. A little bit of a pamper. So yeah, I'll um, maybe film a little bit of that later. So are you having your nails done? Yes. Yes, I'm having my... <laughs> What's that? I'm having my nails done by my lovely granddaughter. <laughs> and then we've got Beatrice in the background. Hey, Beatrice. Hi. Oh, oh my sake. gosh. Let's have a look at these lovely nails. So we're going to give you a nice little manicure. And do you want regular polish, just some natural nail yes. varnish, or do you want gel polish? Just ordinary. Just, just, yeah. just ordinary, Thank yeah. Thank you very much, yes. All right. You're being so for like because of the camera. Better show me this afterwards and we'll see what I look like. <laughs> you're having a pamper today. You've had your hair done. Now you're having your nails done. I'm having a pamper day. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been out shopping. You're living a wild life, aren't you? I know. Now today, the restrictions that's it are these. For a while. Yeah, that'll <laughs> be me lot now. I'm just going to put that I'm there. I'm going to say how to do an old person's horrible nail. Oh, Grandma! Actually, they don't look too bad at the moment. They're not bad at all. Look at the beautiful nails. Oh, love. Is that being recorded voice-wise? Yeah. You're being recorded right now. Do what you want, but not coloured. Yeah. Yeah, so just like a, what about like a sheer pink, so it's natural, like yeah, a natural whatever. nail colour? Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't look after them. Well, I've got workers' hands. Look at them. Nothing wrong with that. Not polite, not um, not polite. Um, <laughs> what are you trying to say? Petite. Oh, <laughs> polite. <laughs> yeah, petite. Sort of nails. Get your words out. <laughs> I know. I can't. Your brain's gone. Been stuck indoors for God knows how long. But um, you know, you get. Uh, it's like everybody else, I'm just lucky I've got a garden to go in. Yeah, that's true. I sit in the greenhouse with the sun. Yeah, we are lucky to have our gardens, aren't mm. we? How's the nails? Are we waiting for them to dry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see them then. Hello. <laughs> Let's see your nails. Yeah, there you go. 
Ooh, well, you can't really see. I'll do a close up shot in a minute. We've still got another coat and some, what else is it called? Top coat to do. <laughs> What's the review? Out of a salon rated, out of 10. Oh, I'd definitely give you 10, if not 12. <laughs> oh, 12 out of 10. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see your nails then. Shut up, Lucy. <laughs> they look lovely. I can't see them now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm glad you like them. Yeah, I love them. Thank you. <laughs> it's now Wednesday, the 19th of May. I've just finished doing a client. I've still got my mask on. <laughs> I've got my hair up. I washed it this morning and put a hair mask on, so I thought I'd just leave it there. So I've just got to tidy up, put all my tools away and clean and disinfect everything. Then my next job is to go on the computer uploading a youtube video so i've just got to finish that off do the description box and upload it it's the first of the declutter series that's going to be starting i am decluttering the whole salon it's going to take a while they're going to be long videos you definitely need a cup of tea and a snack while you're watching it but i was decluttering all of those drawers there so that's what that video is it's almost 40 minutes long so yeah that is going up today which is although this is in the you'll see this in the future so it's already up so i'll leave a link in the description box down below if you haven't seen it already but yeah it's part one there's definitely a lot to do because then i've got to clutter these and then declutter my drawers and my desk so there's actually a lot to do it's going to be interesting it's going to be a long process and then once i've decluttered everything i'm then going to reorganize everything because i've bought lots of new containers to really reorganize and everything i've got a bit of a headache today as well so that's not good I need to drink some more water but yes i will catch you in a bit once i've cleaned the salon okay bye Good morning lovely, so it's another day, it's Monday the 24th of May now and it is 20 past 10. I have got a one-to-one -one session in a minute, an online one-to-one -one session, so that's really exciting. I'm just having my breakfast, having a little bit of porridge before we start. So yeah, we start at 10.30, it's a three hour online one-to-one -one Zoom skill building session. <laughs> so that's what's happening this morning. I've also had nail mail arrive, which is really exciting, some new bio sculpture colors, and also later today, I really need to do my nails. These guys have been on for like six weeks or something and they are, they're diabolical. And these guys here, they need doing, they're just a little bit, I need, I want to think I want to file the length down a little bit shorter. And also I haven't infilled some of them for a while and I feel like I just want to soak off and do like a fresh set on them all. So later on today, I think I'm going to sit down, do my nails, play with some of the new nail bits that have just arrived. And yeah, I'm really excited. So stay tuned for the unboxing and me doing my nails later. And yeah, I'm just gonna eat some food. I'm gonna put some blueberries and raspberries in my porridge and I'll catch you later. Maybe after my one-to-one -one, or maybe I film a little bit of my one-to-one -one session as well. So you can see. Doing the same thing. So I'm gonna apply it in the center of the nail initially. And I'm, this is called the slip layer. So we're creating a slip layer here. So it's a layer of uncured gel, kind of like the base layer. So I'm starting off in the middle of the nail. You don't want to use too much here. And I'm working down those side walls again. So I've just finished the one-to-one -one session and I'm gonna sit down and do my nails. I've infilled them, ready to go. So it's now just time to do design. So I want to use some of the new bits and bobs. So I thought I'd unbox it. So we've got, looks like some fun colors. Bright green, yellow, blue, and some neutrals, rustic terracotta, and some like neutrally 
nudie colours, which look nice. I'm interested to try out like these two. I haven't tried these before. They're new. I'll put a link to the Bio Sculpture website down below so you guys can go check them out. But yeah, I'm gonna try and do something with these, I fancy. And Beatrice is coming. Beatrice, say hello to the vlog. Or, or not. <laughs> Beatrice, what are you doing? She's like, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just trying to sleep. Hi, girl. Okay, and then I don't know what this is. Oh, white high pigment gel. I love that. Use that all the time anyway. So yeah, I want to have a go at maybe doing like a thin coat of this or even like a thin coat of this on my nails. I feel like that would look really pretty because it's kind of got like a nice sheen to it. And I fancy doing something with this screen. So yeah, we'll see. These are the newbies that have come in. So I want to have a play around and do something and create. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do. They're all infilled with contour. Base and build is what I use over on my actual nails. They've all got a layer of that, which is nice. Keeping them strong, but it's really thin. I don't like it thick or anything. And I've got quite a strong natural C curve. So my nails are pretty strong anyway. So just... A little bit of that helps. Give them a quick buff over before I put colour on. Let's have a look. Let us unbox it together. Also, excuse my other nails. They've been on for like five or six weeks. I've base coated one of them because I was demoing the prep and prep and polish application so that's why that nail's done still need to get around to the other ones they're a state so yeah ignore them in fact i might even put a glove on because it's quite distracting i think there we go gloves on ready to go let's try and get into this i'm leaning towards this which is unlike me because it's got a slight pearlescent finish to it i'm gonna try a small amount of this see what it looks like we'll test it out because it's quite like tan toned like almost like a tan nude color i'm not sure if this will go with my skin tone oh a thin coat might look quite nice it is quite nice actually you can't see the color of it in this light though let me just show you over here excuse my draw but in like normal lighting not studio lighting it does look really nice it's quite a nice nude color very similar color to my skin tone i think this would look lovely on a darker skin tone it would look really nice but it's like a really warm tan nude quite like it let's bring, bring bring you back over here i think i might try next to it the other color this one so wait that one was nude beige yeah that's a good description it's a very nude beige color i'm gonna try twilight now grab a little bit of this I think again I'm gonna do like quite a thin layer. Compare the two. Oh, I think I like this. Oh, that's that's quite pretty. Now I feel like I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go for this. It's quite nice. So that is that colour on all of the nails. Oh, I really love it. I really love it. It's really, really beautiful. It has like a slight sheen to it, which I think you can just see. It gives like a really nice glazed look, but really natural. It almost makes your nails just look really healthy. Just gonna apply some top coat, because I think I fancy just top coating over these as they are, because I really like them just like this. So I'm gonna put some top coat on them. Thank you, just so that I can work on top of this. So I've just top coated cleansing off the sticky layer have a good squeak i feel like that is so pretty 
love that it just makes them look really shiny i think you can't really see that it's got that sheen to it it just makes your nails look really like healthy and glossy like shiny if you know what i mean like ooh. So yeah okay so i decided what i'm doing i'm doing a french with twilight as a base i ended up doing two coats actually which i'm in love with so i'm using this color which is catch the wind 198 stunning color and then i'm also going to use lana which is this kind of color so i'm going to do these two colors french <laughs> on both the nails i think it's going to look so cute i'm going to do the french on these three in this color so it's another day and i'm just popping back into the salon i've been here in here this morning oh it's tuesday the 25th of may tuesday the 25th of may this vlog seems to be going on for quite some time i have been doing loads of admin and working on that project this morning to early afternoon because it's now half three and i've also done a couple of sets of nails on my nails i've been having a play around and i've made a huge mess so i need to put all the colors away and put things away because I have got a client in an hour. She's coming at 4.30. So I need to clean everything down and get prepped and ready for that. The salon is in a bit of a mess. As you can see, there's stuff sticking out everywhere. What is new here? And I need to clean and tidy. So I thought that I'd whip the camera out and do a little tidy as I talk. I think today's the last day I'm gonna pick up the camera for this vlog because I feel like it's been going on for longer than a week. Potentially it's been going on for longer than a week. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be the last day of the vlog. Sorry guys if it's a long one. Well, to be honest, you guys seem to like really long videos, so quite good. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying the declutter. I've got like declutter part two, part three to do. And then I've got to reorganize everything in the salon. I want to have a massive overhaul. So be prepared for all that to come. So many videos to come for that kind of thing. But yes, I've just peeled off these nails and I think I actually filmed a little clip of me peeling them off. So I might quickly insert that here right now. Guys, I've literally just done this set of nails and I don't want to take them off. I'm literally obsessed. Might be an online class coming over on Instagram. Let's so definitely keep your eyes peeled over there. So cute. guys are wondering what this is i use hollow taco pv base if you follow me over on instagram you will have already seen this because i shared it with you guys literally a few months ago it's a lifesaver it means i can sit down play with nails and just feel so free and creative i know that i just have to literally pop the designs off and then i can sit down and play with another design after rather than having to file it off or soak it off causes so much less damage to your nails if you like doing your nails quite regularly highly recommend or you like yeah just like sitting down playing with nails or like you're a content creator or something like that it's really awesome to be able to just peel off or if you use regular nail varnish rather than wiping off you can just peel it off it's really quite cool but yeah, so I just peeled off a set of nails. I'm literally obsessed with them. I did not want to take them off, but there's so many different ideas and things I want to try on my nails that I just have to. I'm just got to get through it and have a play. I love that Peely base, that Hollow Taco Peely base. Literally game changer, lifesaver, makes me feel so much more creative and just, yeah, it's great. It's fabulous. And ideally, I'd really like to be able to do another set of nails before my next client arrives. Something simple, but... I don't think I'm gonna have time and I need to stop rambling and I need to clean and tidy. So yeah, I am gonna clean and tidy and then I'll see you when my client arrives. So 
I totally forgot to end the vlog, guys. So it's editing Izzy back again to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and the behind the scenes. It was kind of a little bit all over the place and a little bit mismatched, as it always is. But yeah, that's how it is. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. As per usual, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And stay tuned for my very exciting announcement, which has already happened over on Instagram. So if you can't wait on YouTube, to find out what it is, definitely go head over to my Instagram and check out my bio because it's in there. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.